Hello! I haven't thrifted in like a month and I'm itching! Today I'm wearing all thrifted top and bottom earrings from H&M and my new Reeboks that I love! So today we're going to be thrifting spring items. I'm here! Lately, I haven't really spent the time to properly thrift. I've always kind of been in a rush to get back to the city or I've had things to do. And now I have quite a good chunk of time and I'm going to thrift hard today. Designer. Diane Von Furstenberg. Maybe silk. Oh, she go in. This dress is shaped beautifully. And it's real suede. If you swap out the buttons that are not great, then you have a really nicely fitted dress. Another designer dress, but this one has tags on. Quartz 1961. Organza. Not my style, but really cool dress. For $39.99. Polo Ralph Lauren light denim shirt dress. Kind of cute. $12.99. I know I'm not that young, but I don't know what these are. They're like cassette tapes. I found a kind of quiet corner. It's a little busy today, so I'm just going to show you a couple of specialty pieces that I found. These really cool pants. I feel like these would go well with the shoes I'm wearing now. I kind of want to be like a hip young girl and wear sweatpants again. So these are foot lockers. They're like really sturdy sweatpants. They're like cool wide leg adidas but like very subtly adidas and I'm like maybe I could pull these off I don't know leggings with zippers going down both sides this is a really cool two-piece high waisted green pants and then this like zip up blazer that also looks like like a gymnastics coach in suede I don't like it but I just thought I'd show it to you this Super extra, like what? But then maybe this would make like a really cool DIY. No, that's pushing it, right? Because it's too peach, way too peach. And then comfy knit stretch jumps. I really like this t-shirt. Somebody please help me because it says M-A-C-P and I really hope it's not like something super sketch. I'm gonna try and look it up to see if it represents anything bad. But other than that, I really like it. No bueno, right? So unforgiving. <laughs> Any, anything, anything. It just clings to. <laughs> like if I had sucked everything in. That's cute, right? This fabric is also not very forgiving. And it's also a little too thick, so it makes it look more like sweatpants than leggings. And I feel like the zipper is too skinny to justify like the style. So I thought that the flared shape of these would make it look pretty cool. But I don't think I can pull it off. I just look kind of frumpy, right? I look short. These ones fit a little better, but... I don't know. I'm not big on the neon trend, but... I think this is cute. Maybe I should keep it. I 
like this one too, but it needs a bit of work. We ended up bringing home the t-shirt. Still don't know. Still trying to look it up. Cannot seem to find what's wrong with it and this seems to be like a home printed, you know those um, Gildan t-shirts? Can't figure it out. Really hope it's not something racist, <laughs> gang related. Worse than barbecue fingers. Ended up getting the plaid pants as well. These are the perfect length on me. They fit me so well, except the waist. It always sucks to buy something thrifted and then having to have it professionally tailored. It Oh, oh I see how it... Because it splits. It's not like a whole waistband. Anyways, I don't need to hem them. They look really, really cool with sneakers and... Yeah, these are like easy kind of dress-up pants that you just wear with a plain white tee. I also got the Knit Neon t-shirt. This is exactly what I needed for that spring video, but you know, when the thrifting gods don't want you to get it, they're not gonna give it to you. did end up getting the Diane von Furstenberg silk shirt dress. That's why it was $40, and $40 is pricey. And the shape of it is very 2000s, like it's very momish, but animal print is very in this season. Zebra, snake print, leopard print. If I had a pair of high top chucks, which I'm going to see if I could buns for, then this would be perfect. If not, it is a good quality piece. It would be a great beach cover up and it works fine. And then, this neon slit dress. It's more like an avocado green, but it's quite neon. It fit me really, really nicely. I find that the straps are very wide, so it is very 90s. Aside from that, it just fits very perfectly. It's very comfortable. It's fully lined, so I think I'm going to transform this into something a little bit more modern because the length could be shortened just a little bit. Maybe I could split it in half so that it would be like a two-piece looking set instead of like a dress. But I feel like this would be great for the summer. If there's any way that I could maybe make the straps a little narrower, I would look into that, though I've never done that before either. And when you're working with a fully lined dress, it makes things a little trickier because there's two pieces to it now. So those are the pieces that I ended up getting very spring. If you guys like these thrift videos, be sure to check out the thrifted playlist. I hope you guys can subscribe to more thrifted videos. Check out the podcast Girl Wad. Our latest topic is what's wrong with millennials? Are we hypersensitive? Are we little special snowflakes, which is what everybody calls us, and uh, cancel culture? Hope you guys can give it a listen or support us on Patreon. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!